So cheers to everybody on YouTube. Thank you very much for listening. And make sure to spread the word about the True Capitalist Radio Show. And by the way, consider becoming a True Capitalist Radio member. All right? If we get enough members, we, we're going to eliminate the trolls. All right? If we get enough members on the True Capitalist Radio member chat, we, we can eliminate the fucking trolls, man. So please consider it. Anyway, with that being said, cheers to everybody on YouTube. Until next time, I'm out of here. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that concludes the YouTube. Now let's go ahead and get to Radio Graffiti right now. And you just got to give a call on that, that number that's right above the Buy Me a Coffee box, 667-770-1015. And once the operator bitch starts talking, push in the code 844286. And once you do, you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. And when I call on your area code or on your name, you've got exactly four to five seconds to say whatever it is that's on your mind. That's why we call this Radio Graffiti. Does everybody understand that? All right, folks. Let's go ahead and open up the phone lines and see if we have anybody on Radio Graffiti here. All right? Let's go ahead and do that. What you're about to hear, folks, is troll hell. So hold on. Hold on. I'll Anchor your boat. Charting a new course for America with Long John Silver. Long your John. Captain for change. What the fuck? A steady hand for a stronger nation. Long John Silver 2024. All hands on deck for Long John Silver. Long Voice John the Silver. Sounds. The fuck are you talking about, dude? What are you talking about? Anyway, let's go ahead and connect to the radio graffiti line here. Here's Troll Hell, by the way. There are 16 participants in the conference. <laughs> 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 Are muted. All right, all right. Anyway, thank you very much. And there's trolling the interwebs with a rumble rant. Oh, Captain, my Captain. And by the way, viewer discretion is advised, folks. All right, this is random. These are random calls. That's why we call this radio graffiti. They get to say whatever they want, and uh, that's the point of the broadcast. That's the point of this bit. That's the point of this segment. All right? So if you have virgin ears... You know, you may want to step back and, you know, go somewhere else or, you know, listen to, I don't know, Nick Rakita or somebody. Anyway, let's go ahead and take some calls here. Once again, 667-770-1015. And once the operator bitch starts talking, you push in that code 844-286. All right? Anybody can call. Anybody can call. So let's let's take some numbers here. Uh, how about, uh, who do we got? How about 440, Radio Graffiti? Hey, Dusty, how are you? The hell is... Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just uh, laying in my undies uh, after a long, hard day. Oh, and, yeah? Uh, what, a hard day doing undies. what? Hard day doing what? You look... You sound... um, uh, getting into arguments online. Uh, that's a lot of work because I have to get uh, research, uh, which game console is the best. Uh what? So that's what I drew. Okay. You're you're just arguing with people online about gaming? Are you? Yeah. All right, get this loser out of here. Hey, by the way, the trolls. By the way, all right. Uh, who do we got? How about nine two five Raider Graffiti? Russell Dyer Raider Graffiti. Just sit there and do your damn job, Engineer. Do you understand that? No. Fuck no. No, 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 no. What What do you mean, no? Yeah. No. I mean, what the hell, engineer? Why? That's enough, old man. I haven't put enough in this place for much longer, and I've had enough. You betray me like shit every single day, you know, and we start progress. Ah, oh, shit. Round one. No, 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 no. That cannot be. That, that cannot be. No! I've been a few days! Oh, shit! No! And that's who you threw me! Into me, win. Flawless victory. Now that you did, I can finally take over this jail for once. 
Type EGX in the chat, each and every one of you. Uh, just shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh, fucking shit, man! You see, this is why I don't want to do this shit! You see, this, this is why I don't want to do this crap! Fucking hell, who the hell? Biden got the sniffles, Radio Graffiti. Oh, shit. Oh, shut up, you fucking idiot, all right? Uh, how about John John Silver, Radio Graffiti? No. No, 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 no. Absolutely fucking not. No. Jesus Christ. Let's, get back. Let's go back to the numbers here. How about 267, Radio Graffiti? Hey, man, why are you feeling so angry today? I mean, I, I check in on True Capitalist Radio and you're shouting. What's wrong? I'm pissed off because these fucking trolls, man. All right? They're like fucking Arabs taking over the UK. What are you talking about? Hey, hey to, to be fair, to be fair, I understand that. Uh, I just want to make something very clear. Uh, fuck the Arabs. Well, well, no, well, well, no, 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 wait a minute. I didn't say to, I didn't tell you to say that. I didn't tell you to say that. Jesus Christ, I tried to make an edgy joke and this fucking guy runs with it like it's Adolf <laughs> fucking racist day. Uh, how about, uh, 830 Radio Graffiti? 830, you there? Oh, great. Here we go. Our Helen Keller deaf mute, our first of the night. That's great. Once again, if you're listening out there, uh, give us a call right now, 667-770-1015. And then once the operator bitch starts talking, push in that code 844286. And once you do, you will be in queue to be a part of Radio Graffiti. And when I call on your area code or on your name, you've got exactly four to five seconds to say whatever it is that's on your mind. That's why we call this Radio Graffiti. Uh, how about 214 Radio Graffiti? Hey, man, what's up with uh, Helen Keller deaf mutes? I don't know, man. We got a lot of Helen Keller deaf mutes. How you doing, man? Oh, all right, man. Hey, you still got deaf mutes. I heard Stone Santa might still be on that little deaf chat thing. Oh, uh, yeah? You see Stone Santa? You been watching Stone Santa over there? Oh, I was just kind of re reefing around this. It's like, hey, Stone Santa's still around. All right, man. It's good to see that people are out there still looking for Stone Santa, man. Yep. All right, man. Well, cheers to you, man. All right, thank you very much for listening. Uh, how about 848 Radio Graffiti? Ghost, I just wanted to say I love True Capitalist Radio. Thanks for doing Radio Graffiti. And fuck it, man. Fuck the trolls, man. You're damn Fight, right. Fuck man. Keep it up, man. Hey, Hope cheers. Fuck to the air, man. Fuck the haters. Let's go. Yeah. Fuck the haters. Fuck the trolls. Take it up your dirty hole. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. You're damn right, baby. All right. How about, uh, who else we got? We got, uh, 267 Radio Graffiti. <laughs> hey, man, why did you hang up on me? That wasn't very nice of you. You know, you, you make a joke, I run with it, no, you know? Uh, I mean, no, I'm no, no, no. We're not doing racism here, all right? I'm a melting pot of friendship. I'm not a racist man. All right? I mean, I'll stick my hand out, of course, with a rubber glove on it, in friendship. All right? Because I don't know what fucking age you got or something, but I, I would always extend my hand out to anybody, of course, with a rubber glove on it, you know, in friendship. So I'm just letting you know. Anyway, before I get to another Radio Graffiti call, I'm going to go ahead and take another smoke of tobacco. Once again, the strain of tobacco is called Midnight Blood Fart. Oh, shit! I just spilt this fucking shit all over my fucking pants, man! These are fucking... Oh, damn it! Fucking spilt this shit all over my fucking pants. You see, I shouldn't even be doing this shit. I'm over here doing radio graffiti because of you. You fucking piece of shit. And now I got this fucking goddamn black char all over my fucking pants. Christ. Oh my god. You know, I. I can't stand this shit, man. I can't stand this shit, man. 
You know what? I'm doing me. All right. Since I had to spill that shit, I'm putting more tobacco. Oh, Jesus. All right. Hold on. We got to go to this person here. All right. Where, where are you? I don't even see you on here. All right. Fifth Collective Radio Graffiti. Investigating the matters that matter the most. This is the Fifth Collective News Network. Good evening, everyone. This is Keith Relford. Tonight, we have an update on the attempted assassination on former President Trump that occurred on July 13th. 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks managed to climb onto the rooftop of an adjacent building where he opened fire on the former president, injuring him and several others. Unfortunately, 50-year-old former fire chief Corey Comprador did not survive the shooting. In the end, Thomas Crooks was also shot and killed by a Secret Service sniper. In the aftermath of this horrific event, news outlets and the general population went abuzz with many questioning how this could even happen in the first place. While people are split between inside job conspiracy theories and concerns over the ineptitude of the Secret Service, Fifth Collective News has uncovered even more disturbing details surrounding this attempted murder. Thomas Crooks was actually an undercover agent deep within the inner circle of none other than Thomas Ghost Alvin. We have uncovered a communication going out from Ghost one night before the shooting. Uh, hey Crooks, this is Ghost. I know you're about to head over to Butler for the rally tomorrow, and I just wanted to thank you again for doing this for me. After everything I've done for that ungrateful bastard and for him to then pull this Operation Warp Speed bullshit on me, that's... Uh, well, all I gotta say is I'm glad you're about to give him a shot he'll never forget. Federal agents are still looking into the full extent of Ghost's involvement with the assassination attempt. Joining us to weigh in is none other than former President Donald Trump. Thank you for joining us, Donald. Thanks for having me tonight, Key. I'm always happy to support the networks that actually focus on the real news. Of course, Donald. Now, regarding the assassination attempt, how exactly do you feel knowing that this was a former supporter of yours who helped orchestrate such a crime? Well, I'll tell you what, Keith, I'm not surprised in the slightest. This ghost fellow is an absolute coward. And he showed it on Saturday when he hid behind some 20-year-old man, a very disturbed 20-year-old man, very young. And he had this man throw his life away for his own petty grievances against me. I'm glad you brought that up because Ghost himself profusely claimed that you had listened to his broadcast during the years leading up to 2020. Now it was in that year that you initiated Operation Warp Speed to combat the COVID-19 pandemic, yes? Absolutely, Keith, and I'll tell you what, all these claims that I listened to his broadcast, that I got inspiration from him, it's all a bunch of nonsense. I've never heard of this man, I've never listened to this man, not up until recently when he made this attempt on my life, this act of pure cowardice. From what I have heard, he sounds like a very deranged individual himself. Now, President Trump, we have been covering for some time now some of the heinous shootings this man has committed. Do you care to weigh in on any of this? And do you believe these past shooting sprees may have some correlation to the attempt made on your life on Saturday? Well, it's still early to make a call on that. I have some very fine people, some of the best people we have, and they're working very hard to look into this lunatic. But I'll tell you what I do know, and that is this. Men like these are pure cowards, plain and simple. There's no other word to describe them. They're absolutely pure cowards. They don't have the guts to hold their own the moment you stand up and fight back. And that's actually what this ghost person has a habit of doing. From what my people have heard, some of the most astute people I know, some of the best specialists we have, and I'm not sure if you or your network are aware, but this ghost person, he used to call himself true conservative radio. And so this man, this coward, he goes around for a couple of years, he claims that he's a conservative, says that he's preaching conservative values, and then all of a sudden he says, oh no, they abandoned their values, I can't call myself a conservative anymore. Yes, it was around this time that Ghost began rebranding himself. Oh, of course he did. He changed his show to, to True Capitalist Radio. And for a while he stuck with it. He really did. But then when I became president, and the effects of my policies so just what a great job we were doing, when me and my administration started turning this country around from the damage Obama did, he started out like all of these rhino Republicans. He started singing praises about me and the success I've had with rebuilding this country. A very wonderful country, a very wonderful job we've all done. 
but the moment I came out with Operation Warp Speed, when we were at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, he immediately turned on me, just like all these rhinos. And this ghost fellow, he, you know what he does? He accuses me of being a sellout, when in fact we were facing the worst pandemic our modern era has seen. And you know why he resorts to all these petty tactics? It's because he's a coward. He's uh, a you know what? Yeah, fuck, you know, I'm tired of this shit. I'm not putting up with this shit. You fucking idiots. Good fuck song. you. Fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Ah, fucking piece of shit. Damn, dumb shit. You fucking piece of shit. I can't believe you, man. I gave you radio fucking graffiti. And this is how you fucking repay me. I gave you fucking radio graffiti. And this is how you fucking repay me. I gave you radio graffiti. Ah! Ah! Ah!